Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to show how to create a parallel box plot with a category using SPSS. In this example, we will make a parallel box plot for weights of males and females separately from a sample dataset. We use the numerical variable weight A along with the categorical variable gender in this video. We will first need to make sure the setting on variables are correct by clicking on the Variable View tab at the bottom. Gender variable should be set up as string type with nominal level measurement, while weight variables need to be of numeric type with scale measurement level. Click the Data View tab to go back to the spreadsheet. To start, click the graphs from the top menu and select Chart Builder. Then choose Box Plot from the gallery. Select the first simple one, drag it to the above canvas, and release it there. Then you can see the template of the box plot. For the x-axis, grab the categorical variable gender and drag it to the box. Make sure to see the red rectangle before you release it. Similarly, for the y-axis, place our target variable with A. Then click on OK. We have the parallel box plot of males and females separately for the weight of A group. If you like to produce a horizontal box plot, then double click on the chart to edit. Then click on the horizontal bar shaped icon at the top to transpose the chart. If you want to change the color to differentiate males from females, click on the male group box plot. Then you can see the gray outlines around both boxes. So click on male one more time to have gray outline only for male. You can see the current blue color at the center of the menu boards. Click on the drop down beside the color. Then you can choose your favorite color. In the same way, click on the female box, and again, you can see the current color at the color box. Click on the drop down to choose any color you want. Close this editor, and now we have a horizontal parallel box plot. Here is the output from SPSS. The tip of the left whisker represents the minimum value of the data, while the right side indicates the maximum value. However, for the female box plot, you can see some circled isolated points. These are called outliers. Data values that are outside of 1.5 times its interquartile range are called outliers. You should remember that the tips of whiskers in the female box plot are not the actual minimum or maximum values in these situations. Please comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you again.